Well hello, this is Jimmyism Total Nerdy Channel and I just wanted to make a little tutorial video on how to make big signs with blocks and stuff like that and some tips you can think about uh, mainly by looking at some examples. So when building big signs or big texts you have to think about how to design the characters before you start. You might even have to calculate it in your head and make a measurement so that you know how big the sign will be. Uh, a rule of thumb is that uh, signs and letters in StarMade when you make them are usually going to be a bit bigger than you think they will be. Um, but there are a few tips that I will show you that you can use so that your signs will be a little bit more compact. Um, we will look at some different examples. Here you can see a kind of very simple uh, sign which is inverted, where it says DOC. Uh, and this is made only by having a... Um, light screen behind and then having a plex door layer on that can be turned on and off. Uh, the benefit with this type of thing is that you can uh, turn on the clock here uh, and then you get a little animation. Not very, not very complex animation, but you get a nice animation and this is one of the programmable types of signs and it's also really nice to have the inverted signs as people only use lights. Um, the other way to program a sign is to make a light screen and write in what you want to do here. Um, and of course it can be hard to design characters. These are very simple to design but some are kind of hard to know how you want them. So if you look at this you see that I have compiled a little chart of different typos or fonts uh, I mean you can use to make nice looking characters that still don't take up too much space. So this is a little collection of stuff that I find useful mm, and also some Japanese letters if you want to try uh, onto the uh, vocal system. I guess katakana will be more useful but uh, so that you have some resources to work with. Uh, let's move on to look at some fancy stuff. Now this can also be programmable naturally. This is however just a written in sign because you maybe want like if everything is blinking and moving and thing like that, um, your 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 system might start to lag a little bit, which is not so nice. Um, anyways, what is kind of hard is to make uh, Chinese characters or katakana, um, no, no no kanji uh, like Chinese characters. Uh, into simple blocks because they will require very much space so if you try on designing something more complex or maybe made up symbols like this you need some big space to do this um, let's see here and here you can see the sign used with wedges is much more compact and manageable um, here you can see the use of a very block based structure to make characters and here we have used a simple inserted um, system here which are made to try to look a little bit blocky. Uh, we're a reason where uh, one of the typos are used and also uh, fonts are used and also a very fitted uh, view or fitted, uh, fitted text, uh, because here you can see I match them so the demonism industries take the same space. Of course it's not always you can do this, but usually you can do this perfectly. And here you see the special N, which I kind of like for this type of solution. So, um, some characters or some letters take bigger space than others do, um, but some you can make kind of compact, like this one is rather compact. Uh, even more compact in is the <laughs> initials here for new <laughs> world with a single... No wait, 
Yes. It's supposed to be NUA, I believe. <laughs> I've forgotten. Anyways, um, again, example of blocky characters, which you can make not so tall. Some characters require them to be five tall. Uh, some you can make a little bit lower. So what you have to do is you have to know all the letters you will use and then make the sign. Uh, it will be looking more elegant if you can make uh, the O very circular and, you know, like this emoji art kind of elegant text just like that. When the big letters are much bigger than the smaller ones, you get a more of an elegant feeling. And this is uh, uh, new, as in new, very compact too. This is a kind of a big sign because as you can see we need to use um, these glowing blocks here and especially after the update uh, you notice that the crystals are great for making signs, a great sign making material like Bjorn, like hospital here we got kind of uh, good looking signs right there. Uh, the other example is the kind of ancient uh, Hatsudencho sign here. Um, and of course you can uh, rationalize and make dots with wedges and stuff like that. But with the uh, glowing crystal you will get a very neon-like uh, and very nice looking and lifelike uh, signs, which I totally recommend. Here we can see an example of where we tried on doing some space design uh, with some, or spacey <laughs> design with some rounded letters for the hotel. Um, and also, as you can see, the characters used in this uh, are all fitted on a 3x3 three three scale. Uh, depending on what you write, you can't do this, but here you can see a very smart solution with making the E with wedges and thus making it much more compact. Naturally, um, oh, here, here is something that can be kind of ex eff uh, effectful when you just, uh, you know, have them a bit lower to get some depth in the uh, uh, in in the signs. This is the signs for mountain and for field, and it's uh, uh, it's a name. So, um, and of course, what might be most useful when you have mastered using the wedges and the full blocks, uh, you can try on using the. Uh, this wedge, this, uh, what are they? Slabs, yes, slabs. If you can use slabs, you can make enormously smooth edges. As you can see, this is, or if you know uh, sh traditional Chinese or Japanese, you know that these signs look very like they should be. And it's created with, oh, of course it takes some time, but if it's fun, fun enough, then it's no problem. But the, the things you can make with uh, slabs are endless. Like this is a pretty damn compact uh, sign here for all, you know, considering the space they take. And this is again used by slabs. Uh, what is this now? Shosaku Ken Shingan Shingai Sho Kyoku. Oh, Shosaku Kenshin Gai Kyoku. Yes, I don't know if that word exists, I only hope. Uh, now, here are some symbols that can be kind of fun to have in the game. You can see this is the C character for the credits, which are signalized the credits, or, you know, shops, basically. So, and these, of course, you can have them rotating. And now it lags, like... I don't know. Oh well, uh, it should be rotating and it's very cool if you can make things rotating. Um, for normal or for uh, what to say, usual, standard, what everyone use, um, letters, yes. <laughs> Here you can see where we have made a very 
a very sleek design. We already we knew you know the size of this, and we can make them very wide. Letter, feel the vapor wave aesthetics when you see this. Uh, this is shipyards. Uh, this is the shipyard in Swedish, simply varvet. But uh, when you make things wide, you also get a very elegant feeling here. And here you can see it's a kind of smart use of slabs to make those a little bit thin. And when you have a background, this is the same thing in Japanese then, but if you have these protruding letters and a light screen in the background, you get a very nice feel of depth, which is, uh, you know, and here we have the same old, this old sign here, Koso Biru, you know, apartment complex, I think it was. Uh, and uh, yeah, nice background, and then you get this very nice looking little angles there. All right, so watch two more uh, take up on making signs here. Um, I think we covered most of the parts, but we can look at some more here. Um, here you can see a homemade in the moment type and you have to rationalize sometimes you know we couldn't make this be any better for the size which means that, you know some characters are harder to make than others or some letters um, but here we have a kind of decent sign which says sky bar uh, it looks very neony and it works still if you make some of those uh, compromises and here we have again examples of uh, not compromises when you just leave things open to get a more of a style. Uh, if you use the same lettering all the time, it will look like it is all from the same place or something like that. So it can be nice, you know, uh, parting it up. And as you see here, it's much more interesting with the little uh, spikes and stuff sticking out of the P here, P for Pandora Haven. Um, and also, you can see you can make some damn elegant characters, you know, city hall, just like that. They're very compact and they're very, you know, light. So, uh, and the L's are not even connected, but you can still read them without a problem. So, you should really just play around a little bit and see what works, but the having this uh, template that I have linked below in the, um, in the description and also uh, given you, you can see it's uh, it helps a lot too. Uh, and here we can all make this small again. It's very compact. They sit together, but they're still separate in a way. It's G N G N N for Galactic News, um, which is the logo I made in StarMade, just as I made the G Modism Industries logo uh, in game. Uh, which you can see here the G I. Um, the logo I use right now. Let's see if we have a full... Yes, here we have a full. Uh, and this is kind of an interesting effect you can have when you have a very um, stylized logo like this. Uh, and really having inverted letters just like this uh, is really cool. It gives it gives design a very, you know, depth and uh, personality in a way and what you can do is you can add you know lights in the background here and so you will get this shimmering nice effect which can be very beautiful or I like it very much at least um, oh and as I showed you you have access to some katakana here um, I didn't create it after model because they use more of the um, you know non uh, non non slab and non uh, wedge version, but I know them, so I just improvise them together. And here we have the Japanese equivalent for cyber robot, cyber robot. And actually, maybe there should be a little striped under. Maybe we're gonna. I need to check that up if there are two spellings or not. But uh, as you can see, uh, when you really need to, you can use the hull in the same color as the glowing blocks and you barely notice it, or at least it's not annoying. Oh well, I guess that is some good tips you can have for making a sign and also putting them uh, vertically is also a cool effect, which you should absolutely use. <laughs> More saints. 
Here we have Keitai Denwa. It's mobile phone. <laughs> Ported up though, but uh, again, here you can see a little slab and a half slab just like that to make this line be exactly where I wanted it. So use slabs smartly and probably you have to move around and using the slabs kind of a lot uh, before you get comfortable with them. Um, it's to my recommendation that you first just make uh, inserted blocks uh, into another. Maybe if you make a sign on a ship hull, this is what you will use. So that's the easiest thing to master. Uh, then I would move on to adding wedges to make slightly more advanced signs and then you can move on to uh, slabs and make the full out fancy signs uh, all you want. And here we have a simple example. It's used after the template I provided. It's Pandora Haven Dock Plaza just like that. Uh, very easy visible and very nice looking uh, indeed. Kojo factory. That's the full slabs and everything. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial thing about how to make your own big signs and also a small assets for you to grab um, <clears throat> so that you can design uh, characters easily and get a more co uh, coherent and uh, signs that match each other very nice. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial and I will be catching you in future videos. This is Jimmy from Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.